Here is some free information, something that a structural engineer might provide you with. And I say that because I'm basing this information off of every stairway I ever built with brackets or dadoed stair stringers. And that would be the fact that I never used anything smaller than a 4x12. And one time I used a 6x14 on a set of stairs that had 22 foot long stringers. So I'm not about to suggest that you can't use 2x12 if the stair stringers are going to be attached to wall framing or if they are going to be structurally supported by a wall or posts. So again, to make myself crystal clear on this one, I am not a structural engineer. I cannot provide you with your exact stair stringer sizes. However, I can tell you that every stairway I built was built out of a 4x12 or larger, even stairs with only a couple of steps. And next up, we will be taking a look at a bracket or dadoed stairway, something that is going to have a stringer on each end and might be dealing with a sloping walkway or surface at the top or bottom of the stairway. And that might look something like this. And if you have a situation like this where something like this will not create a trip hazard, then you could probably leave it alone then if not, you can simply adjust the stair stringer measurements when you're laying out the stairway. And I do have books on how to build and lay out these types of stringers. If you need more information about that, go to the website. If not, what I would suggest would be to measure from the lower surface to the upper surface in the center of the stairway because most people are going to be walking up and down the center of the stairway. However, I would check with your local building department to verify how much of a slope you're allowed to have in the walkway before building the stairway and what the minimum and maximum riser height might be in your area. Because this creates problems too. Because if this riser right here is seven inches, and I go down here and it's six inches, but up here it's eight inches. And the maximum height for a riser in my area is seven and a half inches. Then something like this could be a problem. So this is a tricky situation. And if there is a maximum riser height, then you might be better off calculating the total rise of the stairway from the highest point in the stairway instead of in the middle like we're doing here. And basically what I did here was just drew lines representing the inside of the stairway so that I could measure from either the bottom or the top of the tread to get the distance for each side that I am going to subtract or add to the top of the stringer. And you can do the same thing on the bottom. For example, if I grab my level and I put it in the level position and there is a two inch difference between each sides and I'm using the center for the total rise, then I'm going to lower one side of the stairway an inch and raise the other stairway an inch to create the two inch difference and still have the main riser height that I'm looking for located in the center of the stairway. And you could actually position the stair stringers if that would work better for you. Just don't cut the tops. Let this surface of the stringer run straight up. Do not cut this. And then you could simply mark it if that would work better for you also. If not, then you're just simply going to measure from here, the top of the tread, to the top of the floor surface. And then do the same on the other side. And again, if you cut this accidentally and it looks something like this and it's not going to create a trip hazard, then it's not going to be that big of a deal. Or I would hope that it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And you can see here where if we use a center of the stairway, where most people are going to be walking up and down the stairway, then this is going to be the obvious position for the stair risers to be as close to the same measurement as possible. If people were going to be walking on this side or this side, then you might want to move this measurement over. And I know that sounds weird, but if I had a stairway where there was a wall over here, a guardrail, a handrail, and you could only go to the right, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to move this over a little bit because people are going to be coming up the stairway and then kind of gravitating more towards the right 
side of the stairway, suggesting that you could move this over a little bit. But that might be getting a little too technical. So if you want the stair stringers to look like this and have the treads level, then you should be able to use the information in the video to make that happen. And again, I do have one book on how to build bracket type stairways. That will be stairways built with brackets like these. And I have another book on how to build stairs with dadoed stringers. And those stringers would have notched slots in them that are usually created by a router in which the treads will slide into the sides of the stair stringers and won't be using brackets like these. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.